Canadian Black Book, Canada's trusted source for vehicle values for over 55 years, helping you go in smart. The Durango shares much in common with the Jeep Grand Cherokee. The platform has been elongated to make room for three rows and seven passengers. It can be equipped with several engine choices, including a high-performance SRT model. All Durangos have good on-road manners and above-average towing capacity. Just like the smaller Grand Cherokee, the Durango comes standard with a 3.6-liter V6 with 295 horsepower, a larger 5.7-liter V8 Hemi with 360 horsepower, and a high-performance model called SRT with a 6.4-liter V8, putting out 475 horsepower. All Durango models come with standard all-wheel drive and an 8-speed automatic. The Durango has best-in-class towing with either the V6 or the V8. The V6 is rated at 6,200 pounds and the 5.7 liter V8 at 7,200 pounds. The most popular engine is the base V6 and it's the most efficient, rated at 12.7 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 9.6 on the highway. Standard safety features include front side and curtain airbags, along with traction and stability control. Advanced forward collision warning and autonomous braking is not available. The Durango has a simple and easy to use cabin for all passengers. There's seating for up to seven passengers over three rows with the option to get two captain's chairs on the second row. It must be said that the Uconnect system is one of the easiest to use on the market and it also comes standard with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The seats are comfortable, but on the high performance model, the front seats are heavily bolstered. A base V6 Durango starts at roughly $42,000. The first V8 at roughly $56,000 and the high performance SRT model over $71,000. Here are the highlights. The Durango isn't an obvious choice for many people shopping in the three row SUV space, but it has a few things going for it. First, the ride and handling is better than many competitors. The power can be outrageous from the V8 and high performance models and all trims come with standard all wheel drive. The biggest difference is the Durango has class-leading towing capacity. The downside is that the Durango can get very expensive, making it compete with many luxury brands on price. The V6 is more attainable and the most popular, and it's surprisingly enjoyable to drive. Canadian Black Book, Canada's trusted source for vehicle values for over 55 years, helping you go in smart.